Well, hello and good morning. It's Good Friday 2017. So it's a Friday, Friday the 14th of April and 06.34 hours. Grey, chilly, and there's no wind. There is some drizzle forecast, but it's not sure yet. And I'm going into Newport. Happy days. I missed Newport. That again, Hereford. I know I'm saying I miss Newport. Actually, I miss them both. Could be Cardiff tomorrow. We shall see. Well, there was a full English there, but it's gone, and I've eaten it. So on to the beer. Citra by Oakham, 4.2%. Golden. Nicely cool. Bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. Mmm. Mmm. Really rather hoppy. Although I think I've tasted it better. Nice hoppy finish. Citrusy. B plus in a bit. Moving on. And I would imagine that YouTube will say, you ought to approve this video. They're very flaggy. Not sure what the flagginess is about. It's Easter, not St. David's Day. Who knows? Since last time I visited, they have new carpet, they have new barrier matting. The beer is pretty similar. A really good selection, I've got to be honest. This is Jemima's Pitchfork, which I have had many a time, usually in the temple. Uh, in Morgan Broly, which I think is to be the type 4.4% alcohol by Volvo. I feel periscope. Mr. Manning really needs to know about this new carpet. He'd be so pleased for his stuff. That is hugely lemony. <coughs> lemony with a sort of citrus finish. This will be plus on a bit, but today could be lemon day. Lemons for Easter. Yeah. Well, I was on my way out, you know, all packed up and smockage and all that sort of stuff, and I spotted this, which had just come on. This is some case of golden ale by Everard's. 4% alcohol by volume. I do like the car, but uh, to be honest. So, I turned around, came back to my seat, there's my last glass, and I'm back in the game. Hugely lemony. Yeah, lemony, lemony, it's only B plus, but it's nicely lemony. At four percent, I could drink it all day. It's going well the day. Time for beer, and it's rather grey. I'm not sure what's going on, but there's Welsh flags. There's some here. There's some in the window. There's some in the window over there. But there's some there. Oh, there's darts. Anyway, if you're going to Abertillery, you'll pass the Tudor Brewery. This is Sugarloaf at 4.7% alcohol by volume. I'm beginning to get a little bit of the croakiness. I'm well behind schedule. It's grey outside EMF on the jukebox. I might be a takedown. Who knows? Realwood, Mr. Manning. That's not bad. Malty, touch of burnt notes with it. See, I let you know what I'm sounding what I'm doing. 
Oh gosh. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go for B plus in a bit. For the burnt notes in the finish. It's not raining yet, but it's only just a matter of time. It is a little bit windy. Anyway, chips. Chips. More chips. Um. Yeah. And there. Uh, yeah. I love chips. In tiny rebel Newport. I'm drinking uh, this. The IPA by Gambrovi at 7.4%. Sorachi H. Hops. Not. No carpet in here, Mr. Manning. Cold? Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. That's wrong. Fruity. Really bitter finish. Sort of blow your socks off. B plus plus sort of effect. I have to be honest, the fish is rather big. However, it is a cold up between Magic Rock and someone from Norway. It's a farmhouse IPA, which means it's basically a saison with lots of hops, 6% alcohol by volume. Copy, fruity, a sharp, semi citrusy, bitter finish. That is excellent. Can't beat the Norwegian. Go on. What a quality beer. Sour raspberries. Here's the thing if it's bottle condition, it should have a big sign on it saying bottle condition. Otherwise, a whole heap of yeast ends up in the bottom of the glass. However, Silent Brewing Craft, or Silent Craft Brewing, 6.5% alcohol by volume. Yes, Squealer, Sour Raspberry. I'm not getting a whole lot of raspberry as in from both, but fruity and sour. I'm sharp. B plus plus.